Hello and welcome back everyone to the Hollister McIntyre Flyers franchise and we are here in game three taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I have made some slider changes going into this game. So basically what I did was I reset my profile. Um, all the sliders should be the same so we're still dealing with a lot of the same difficulty user and CPU sliders. I actually just bumped up the game speed threshold to 50. So we had it really low before um, and I think that was actually screwing things up a lot. There's still a great speed disparity in fast and slow players, so I think that'll still work out well But let's go ahead and jump into this game and see how the sliders look come up soon after this And Ricky Rubini set to take us off in Tampa and off we go Buccaneers will get the ball first. It's filled in the end zone and kneeled down So out comes Colbright product of Oklahoma out of Watauga, Texas and this kid has Really not quite lived up to potential just yet in the NFL. I think this season might be his breakout season. So far, five touchdowns and one interception, having a really good one. Starting under center on the day, it's going to be a jet sweep. And some nice moves here down to the 29-yard line. That's Devontae Florence, one of their young wide receivers. A really good wide receiver core for this Buccaneers offense. Now Cole Bright running out wide, and he will not quite get to the first down. Eric Holloway chasing him down. Five-yard run for the Scrambler quarterback. Third and one now. Cole Bright dropping back. Going to throw this one underneath. Broken up by Chris Harris. And now the Flyers will take over. Kyle Linehan. Well, he started out all right this year, but still looking like he's a bit of an interception machine. That is not necessarily resolved in year three. Pitch out on first down here to Lance Roach. A nice run outside. And he'll get down to the 32-yard line. In theory, someone like Lance Roach should be benefited from the game speed threshold being changed, but we'll see just how that works. Now throwing out to Sean Stevens in a nice catch here. Great ball placement there by Kai and Stevens with a really nice catch. That frame very good at uh, throwing him contested catches. Now a cut back here from Lance Roach. Had to entirely reverse the hole there. And that is a nice 11 yard run. It's already up to 20 yards on two carries. Stevens in motion play action rolling out right here Linehan stops and throws Finding Kosi Mensa down the field. We've gotten him involved a few times this season He's he already got a lot of snaps last year. Now. We're starting to get him involved in the pass and run game Throwing this one underneath to Derek Fitzpatrick and still having to take over as tight end one in replacement of Theo He has done fantastically another play action rolling out right here Kai Gonna stop and throw this one in the back of the end zone, and that is caught for a touchdown. Sean Stevens with the catch, and the Flyers strike first, seven nothing. Back on offense, the Buccaneers in the gun, bunches right, throwing this one out into the flats to the tight end, and that'll be a five-yard gain for the Bucks. So first completion of the day to Dawson Knox. Now bunches left. And it's a play action. Bright. Sacked. Brought down for a big loss. TJ Benson, the rookie who has been sensational so far. Cole Bright now checking it down on the angle to Dawson Knox. Nowhere near first down, and that will be a three and out. Flyers defense coming up clutch so far. So back on offense. Third and ten for this Flyers offense now. Airing this one out. One on one. Maverick. Broken up great coverage there Maverick can't come down with it and another three and out from the Flyers So now a pitch out here Mitch Newman tracking him down and Streeter will go down for a two-yard loss third and nine man defenses have really heated up here Unfortunately not enough here on third down Cole Bright going to find Devontae Florence for a first down and The Buccaneers finally may be finding some success in the air Throwing this one to Dawson Knox on the angle. And it's going to be a nine yard gain. Second down and one, and Cole Bright has entered the zone. Hand off Devontae, or uh, rather Streeter, for a three yard gain and a first down. First and 10. Bright, too long in the pocket there. We need to get some more pass rush going. That's probably been one of the areas I've been most unimpressed with this season, other than the emergence of TJ Benson. Nice throw here, and that is going to be a big 20-yard gain there for the Buccaneers. I mean, I, I if you don't get more pass rush, we're not going to be able to stop this Buccaneers pass game. 
Now throwing this one out wide. Dawson Knox steps out of bounds on third down. A clueless, uh, careless error there, rather. And they'll settle for three. Read option. Kai going to keep this one. Slides down for a first down. Not as fast as Fulbright, but a pretty decent runner it is over, right? Second and inches now, and it's a screen to Jacoby Declan. Declan not able to make the same moves. Lance Roach can more of a straight line runner. And that will end the first quarter. 7-3. The defenses came up big in the first quarter. We'll see how they go going forward. And we start the second quarter in the stacks formation. Handoff to Lance Roach. He's got a first down on a 12-yard run there. Three rushes for 31 yards. I think we need to get him more involved. Third and 10. Linehan dropping back and running out of real estate, throwing this one broken up by for Maverick Barnes. See, I don't know why you'd not run the ball more after the success Lance has had. Third and ten for the Buccaneers. Cole Bright taking off with this one. Brought down short of the first down line. And it's just back and back back and forth stops here by the defenses. As now the Flyers are on ball again. Nice run here by Derek Francois. And it'll be third down and four. Another third down. Man in motion. It's a throw to Dylan Murdoch, who's wide open. And the former college roommates find each other there. About a 20-yard gain. And it's a first and ten. Now third and ten once again for the Flyers. Throwing this one. Kai trying to find Murdoch, but offline. Not even sure where that one was going. So yet another punt here. Score or field goal rather. Score is 10 to 3. Second down and nine now for Cole. Dropping back. He's just going to take off and look at that burst of speed. He's so fast. Not Lamar Jackson speed, but not, nobody is. Cole Bright, probably second fastest quarterback in the NFL. That is a big time gain there. First and ten. Now handoff. Streeter. Nice, tough running there. He'll pick up five yards. Hasn't really gotten anything going too much yet, but a nice run. Third and five. Cole. Way too long. He's going to take off and run with this one. He actually had some people breaking open. They ran a scissors concept on the left there and only one deep in uh, safety. But they'll go for it on fourth and two here. Streeter, first down. Running through the tackle of TJ Vinson. And the Buccaneers drive continues. Cole Bright now rolling to the left and he'll be sacked. Mitch Newman finds him in the backfield there. Can't escape that. The spy worked on that one. Now third and eight. And Cole dropping back. He's going to take off again and throws it underneath the streeter. That's one of the things about a mobile quarterback. Once they start to scramble, you have guys who might not stay as disciplined in their coverage and sit in their zone. So handoff here to the backup running back. And that is going nowhere. Jowers with a three-yard loss. And second down and 13. Dropping back, Cole Bright going to throw this one underneath. Devontae Florence, a nice catch and run down to the 9-yard line. We've seen a lot from Florence. Haven't really seen anything from the other wide receivers on this score. Now third and four, throwing this one to the end zone. And nice coverage there by Chris Harris. Keeping him to the out-of-bounds marker. And they'll force a field goal. So the Flyers defense coming up big so far. Nice catch here by Maverick Barnes for a 12-yard gain. And they're going to go no huddle. One hand. Pushing the pace on this one has Dante Pettis open. Caught. Touchdown. Dante Pettis. His first catch of the day from the slot. He has been demoted this season, but not necessarily because of his play. And the first play he makes is a huge one. And now Chance Fortunata going to get his first sack of the day, taking down Cole Bright. Hand off Devontae Florence. And he'll be brought down short of a first down. Flyers take a timeout. And they have 34 seconds to make something happen. Screen pass. And Lance Roach couldn't even catch that one because Kai never got to throw the ball. Last play of the first half here. One-on-one. -on -one, Maverick Barnes overthrew him. And that will do the first half to a close 17-6 your score. I thought the Flyers defense was exceptional. And I do think the sliders might have made some difference in coverage. We saw Chris Harris making some big plays. And remember, his thing is speed. So if he's making plays with a lower speed threshold, or I guess a more neutralized speed threshold, shows you the slider might actually be broken. Let's start taking a look around the league. Some score lines here. We'll kick things off with a fellow division rival, the Packers.
currently leading the Saints. We need the Saints to come up and win this one. But as it looks, looks like Jordan Love might take the win here. It's in this three, close to halftime. How about in the Northeast? Buffalo and New York. Buffalo 0-2 on the season, but they are leading their rival Jets. We'll see if the uh, defending runner-ups can actually make it back to the Super Bowl. L looking like they won't so far. Another division matchup here. New England versus the Patriots. Tie game going into half. Tredarius White just has not necessarily lived up to expectations in New England. We'll see if they can win that game. Back in the second half here. Kai going to take off and run with this one. Throws a pick. Devin White was sitting there in the zone. I'm not sure if he even saw him. Threw it right to him. And the Buccaneers now with great field position. When you can't get anything going on offense, turnovers really can help jumpstart an offense. Cole Bright going to throw this one on the move. Devontae Florence for about six yards. And it'll be third down and five now. And the gun, one back. Bright going to take off with this one. Run it. And he'll be stopped short of a first down. That is going to be fourth and inches. And the Buccaneers are going nowhere. Jumbo package here. Fullback dive, and he's into the end zone. And the Flyers loaded the left side there. Actually, the weak side. And then now Buccaneers going for two. Right, throwing this one in the end zone. Caught. So we are now within three as the Buccaneers score eight points on that drive. Second and 14. Flyers back on offense here. Linehan after the mistake. Don't want to make that again. Nobody around Derek Fitzpatrick. He's going to check it down to him. And he'll pick up about 25 yards on that throw. I'm not sure what the defense was doing there. Just lost sight of the tight end. First and 10 now. Another check down. Lance Roach. Wide open. So it looks like they're playing a very soft zone here. And Linehan just taking what the defense gives them. Very smart plays. Second down and eight now. Play action for Lance Roach. Going to throw this one out. Again, Derek Fitzpatrick. And we're just going with all the underneath routes here. That'll leave this one third and three, but a very manageable four down scenario. And this is a screen pass out to Maverick Barnes. Dangerous pass there, broken up. And the Flyers will settle for three. I think a run would have been the better call in that scenario. And Devontae Florence or Streeter with a nice move. And he's gone. A simple cut. One cut back there, and he's going to score. And the Flyers defense, which have been so staunch on the run gives up a huge 70 yard touchdown back on offense flyers with the five yard run now down one and we did not expect this to be the case play action the lance on second down nice throw on the run dropping it right into Derek fitzpatrick's bread basket that's one of kyle linehan's best throws on the day second down and nine linehan dropping back gonna throw this one to sean stevens on the in route nice play there now first and 10 at the 39. Handoff. Lance with a nice run. Going to pick up a first down there. Again, Lance has been near unstoppable. Six and a half yard average. I think you keep feeding him. First and 10. A long drawn out play action there. And I think Linehan's just going to take off with this one. He does. He will pick up the first down. No, they'll say second and inches. Third and inches. Handoff. Lance. Nothing but green in front of him. The misdirection gets him down to the three-yard line. And this run game has been really good today. I think you've got to lean into it more. Second and goal now. Linehan. Had a man breaking open. Maverick Barnes in the back of the end zone, but tried to scramble, step up in the pocket, and he gets sacked. Third and goal. Had the underneath, but not the goal line. And going to check this down, down to Lance. We'll lose a few yards, actually, and we'll have to settle for another three. So the Buccaneers defense has stepped it up. First and 10 now for Cole Bright. Going to throw this one. Caught Devontae Florence with Chris Harris covering him. Nice coverage there. Just a better throw and catch. Second down and one. Cole back in the zone. Going to find Dawson Knox across the middle. Be about a 15-yard gain there. First and 10. Now third and 11. Time winding down here in the third quarter. Cole Bright going to drop back. Throw this one in the flat to Streeter, and he will be stopped short of a first down. And a fourth and two with your own 50. Now it's decision time for the Bucks, and they will punt. To end this third quarter here, a nice punt. This is going to pin the Flyers back inside their own 20 at the 12. And that is where we will start the fourth quarter. A two-point lead. we got a lot of work to do to win this one. We'll see you in the fourth.
We start the fourth quarter in the Wildcat. A keeper for Jacoby Declan. And he'll be rocked down right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe lost one, actually. They were ready for that. Second and 11 now. Linehan back on offense, throwing this one out. Dylan Murdoch breaking a tackle. Really nice play after the catch there. So now second and 13. Handoff. Lance Roach. Nothing but room in front of him. This offensive line has just opened holes for Lance all day, and he is taking them. First and 10 at the 36-yard line. Kai dropping back. Gonna throw this one up. One-on-one. -on -one. Maverick broken up again. And that has been a battle Maverick Barnes cannot win. Now third down and six. Gonna throw this one in the flats. So Lance Roach, and he drops it. A rare mistake from him. Wide open for a first down there. And now the Buccaneers a chance to go up late in this game. Streeter with the catch. Brought down in the flats by Keenan Callahan. Second down and seven. Cole going to drop back. Check this one down to Dawson Knox, and he will hang on. And the zone is a little soft right now. He might have to start switching to man. I'm not sure. Cole Bright going to throw this one out. That is caught Dawson again. So first and ten at midfield. Buccaneers only need a little bit more to go ahead and take a lead with the field goal. Cole Bright going to get sacked by Kenny Durkins. Great edge contain there. Kenny forcing him to run into the edge on the scramble, and he takes him down. Third and 12 now. Cole Bright going to take off. No! Sacked by Eric Holloway. Again, just really good discipline and good block shedding by these defensive linemen. And we will get the ball back. Lance Roach, a nice run here. Five yards. And you can run this one down. A field goal will make it a really tough game for them to win. A touchdown all but seals the game. First down now for Francois. As time is running down and the Flyers will start to run this clock a little bit. You do want to make sure you can get to about midfield, though, as Lance Roach, a nice run down to the 36. You get to midfield, and you start thinking about icing this game here. Second down and seven. Handoff from Lance. Following his blockers. That'll be four. Leaves us with a third and four situation. Might be four down territory, though. Pitch out. Lance Roach will pick it up no matter what. And he will run out of bounds. Not the wisest decision there down to the 40-yard line. As that could have run it down to the two-minute warning. Third and 14 now. Flyers. This could seal the game. Caught! Sean Stevens. First down. And now the Flyers can take their sweet time running this one down. And they will do so with the field goal. So 20 seconds remaining. Buccaneers back on offense. Bright airing this one out. Caught out of bounds. That won't count. Second down and 10. 13 seconds remaining. Bright. He's got the arm to do it. He's going to do it again. Just throws this one up. And that is broken up. We are not in prevent, by the way. They really had some nice matchups there. Now we are in prevent. And Bright will just throw this one underneath. Not sure if they had a lateral play design there, but it does not work. And the Flyers will walk away with this one with the win. So, the defense ended up becoming what won us that game, I would say. And I do wonder how much the sliders impacted it. We will play some more games on this 50 threshold slider set. Again, that is the default slider for the speed threshold. And all speed threshold does is increase or decrease the disparity between a 99 speed player and a 90 speed player, for example. Um, I haven't noticed it make guys slower, though. I still feel like your fast guys have more bursts than the slower guys. So I think that was a better game. We'll monitor it going forward. The Dolphins just destroyed the Patriots. Tredarius White, not even a bad day for him. But, I mean, when you can't get a run game going, not going to happen. The Raiders eke out a win over division rival Kansas City. Baron Gatkowski with a nice day. Two touchdowns, no interceptions. Aaron Jones, 134 on 8 in the carry. Thank goodness he's off the Packers. I'm not upset about that one. Buffalo, finally back in the win column here. Josh Allen... You know, he always throws one pick per touchdown there. It looks like the defense came up clutch for the Bills. The Panthers pick up a win over the Steelers. And interestingly, Teddy Bridgewater, four interceptions. The bridge quarterback, the ultimate bridge quarterback starting for them. We'll see if Ronnie Washburn can get any time later in the season. Jordan Love and the Packers pick up a dub here over the Saints. Not exactly the best for us. And the Giants. They're trending in the wrong direction after the Super Bowl win. Five touchdowns for Walker to him wins. 
And uh, Saquon can't do enough to carry the Giants on his shoulders, even though he averaged 10 a carry. Goodness. Tommy Marler, by the way, getting a touchdown. The Seahawks with the win over the football team. There is McIntyre. One pass, one touchdown. We'll see if he's the starter after this year. So currently, Russell has not been re-signed. And then how about this game? The Vikings and the Bears. Bears coming away with this one. Tyler Davis, four tutties, 400 yards. Tyler Garrett, three tutties, 300 yards. I mean, we're talking about exceptional quarterback play in our division now. Tyler Davis currently leading the NFL in passing yards and 7-1 to one touchdown interception ratio. He's been everything we thought he could be coming out of college. Remember, he doesn't have the arm strength, but it doesn't necessarily matter. Let's look at some re-signing here. Ricky Rubini, we don't want to let him go to free agency again. We're going to re-sign him three years, five million a year, and he accepts. A little expensive, but for a kicker of his caliber. Let's take a look at the draft class here. Zach Schuster headlines it, the senior out of Olympia, and James McIntosh. Both of them are projected one and two. One A, one B, it would be up here, and they are can't miss prospects. Let's look down this list. Dre Morris, a first round running back. And then further on, Hayden Piotr, a projected late first round tight end. We also have Timmy Van Wert, Darius Carter, and Matt Fitzpatrick will be in the second round, projected at least. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. Have a good one.